Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and I'm going to be showing you guys uh, another helpful video that will probably help you guys out a little bit more, and I don't think anyone has done this yet, but I'm going to be showing you guys all the skills and each class of what they can do. Um, I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. The videos won't be coming like super fast at the much de detail it for you guys so you guys can get a hold of it and see what each class has to offer so without further ado let's get into it so without further ado let's get into our basics now here's our basic combo string that doesn't cost any SP one two three that is our normal basic attacks which which we can use at any time they also come with certain perks the first, the first attack does nothing. So, yeah, let's keep keep that in mind. The first attack does nothing. But the second part of the attack, horizontal chop, actually adds cooldown to one of your skills called frenzied parry. Horizontal chop also adds thirty percent damage when it connects with an enemy. Next is twisting chop. Twisting Shop heals the caster by 10% of the damage dealt. Last but not least of our basics is Frenzied Parry. Frenzied Parry is basically just a basic block and when an enemy hits you, he gets a buff. And that buff is at a 100% defense along with damage taken by, by 75%. After Frizzy Parry has been used, it is on cooldown for 12 seconds. Alright, now we're heading into the actual skills. Our first skill is called Hurtling Leap, which allows us to leap to a target of our choosing, but from a certain distance. That is not the distance, I just don't have a target to jump to. If I don't have a target to jump to, I will stand in this place right here. Now this does hit multiple but down the line of the axe. And this skill is on cooldown for at least 8 seconds. So after 8 seconds you can use again. Our next skill is a personal buff. Which means it's only for you and not your surrounding allies. And this buff is called Warrior's Resolve and it adds 10% of crit damage to you for 180 seconds and this skill is on cooldown for 10 seconds Sing. 10 seconds you can use it again when 10 seconds are up 10 seconds Sing. there we go <laughs> our next skill is called death spiral death spiral is pretty much a straightforward spin it's the same skill that your half lawns use when they first start out. This skill can also be used after 8 seconds of cooldown. After 8 seconds of cooldown, you can reuse it again. Okay, now for our party buff. Our party buff is only for those inside of your actual party. Anyone surrounding does not get the buff. <laughs> I don't think they actually said that correctly in their um, in the skills as you read them. It's only for those who are in your party, not those who are outside or nearby. They have to actually be in your party to receive this buff. Huh? And this buff is called Mark of Savagery, which adds 3% to your max HP and 5% to your crit damage to all allies within your party for 180 seconds and is on cooldown for 10 seconds. Alright, time for our next skill. Our next skill is called Vortex Blade and it basically is your character spinning around in a circle with this axe and you are allowed to move around but your movement speed is decreased. And I want you guys to keep in mind that mercenary using axe really eats through durability. Your weapon durability won't last long. 
especially while using Axe. So do make sure you have backup axes or backup greatsword because it will die really fast, especially if you're spamming Vortex Blade. So that's the downfall of having that skill. It eats through your weapon durability. So do be careful when using this skill, especially when it's about to break. Vortex Blade lasts for 4 seconds and goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. <laughs> Our last skill is Calamity Strike. Calamity Strike is a series of attacks that you don't have to keep pushing, but when you push once, does a series of combos and not only that, it leaves, leaves behind a debuff that, that deals 72% of physical damage per second and that debuff lasts for 6 seconds and your skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. I hope this part of the video helped you guys with your axe part of the mercenary so we're gonna get it started getting into the great swords. So without further ado, let's get started. Guys, let's get into the basics of Greatsword. Greatsword's combo string is one, two, three. Now to tell you a little bit about these basics. Your first attack is called Carve. Carve does not give debuff or give any buffs to yourself. Your second attack is called Backhand Carve. One, Two. Backhand carve resets the cooldown for predatory parry. And it also gives a buff of plus 5% defense and 20% damage for 6 seconds. Now for your third attack. One, two, ha! three. And that is called vertical carve. Vertical carve adds damage taking by 25% for eight seconds. This part of our basic is Predatory Parry. Predatory Parry is kind of like Frenzy Parry, but a lot better. When this skill is put into place, it does three things. The first thing it gives is plus 100% to your defense and reduce damage taken by 75%. And the second thing it does is when damage is taken, it resets the cooldown to three skills, and that is Dune Spyro, Whirlwind Blade, and Defensive Carve. And this lasts for three seconds. The final thing it does is every second stacks for three three times. Effect consumed once you hit a target. And this lasts for four seconds. And this skill is on cooldown for 12 seconds. At 12 seconds, you can use it again. Now to move on to our actual skills with Greatsword. Now our first skill is similar to Hurtling Leap, but again, it is a lot better. This one is called Leaping Hammer String. Leapy Hammer String, like Hurtling Leap, allows you to leap to a target, but if you don't have a target, you will stand in place. For Leaping Hammer String, you get two debuffs. Your first debuff is it increases the target's SP, and target is slowed for 30% for 4 seconds. And this skill goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. Next skill is called Champion's Resolve. Champion's Resolve is a personal buff. And that personal buff gives 7% to your max HP. And that lasts for 180 seconds. And is on cooldown for 10 seconds. After cooldown, you can use it again. <laughs> next skill is called Dune Spiral. Dune Spiral is just like Death Spiral. It does the same thing as your Halflons do. 
Nah, this one adds adds a debuff, and that debuff is target decreases decreases target's attack by five percent for four seconds. This skill goes on cooldown for eight seconds. After eight seconds, you can use it again. Next up is our party buff. Our party buff is called Mark of Carriage. Mark of Carriage is a skill that can only be applied to your party members and not those who are outside of your party. And this skill gives 5% to your max HP. And this lasts for 180 seconds and goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you can use it again. To our next skill, our next skill is called Whirlwind Blade. Whirlwind Blade is not exactly like Vortex Blade, but it does have some similar functions to it. Ha! With this, it gives a debuff, and that debuff is target SP is decreased. And this skill goes on cooldown for 12 seconds. After 12 seconds, you can use it again. Our last and final skill is Defensive Carve. Defensive Carve is a stacking buff skill. <laughs> Each time you use this, you stack 3% of defense. Five times is the max you can use this. So <laughs> each time, that would be one. Then after cooldown, I would have to use it again to stack for two. <laughs> and that would be two stacks. So if I keep using this, it will keep stacking. So this skill only lasts for 12 seconds. As soon as it's over, you're going to have to restack. And once this skill has been used, it goes on cooldown for 8 seconds. After 8 seconds, you can use it again. <laughs> so I hope this video has helped you guys out a bit on Mercenary. I will be moving on to the other classes. They won't come really fast, but I will be putting them out. Don't worry, they, I will try and do them as fast as I can, but they won't be too fast. I mean, sometimes I'm busy, sometimes I'm not. I love making videos for you guys and helping you guys out. Do make sure to subscribe or keep up with my channel channel if you guys are waiting for a certain class and I will get it out to you. If you guys have any questions just leave it down in the comments and I will try and get back to you guys so you guys can know a little bit more. So until then I'll see you guys next time. Stay lazies my friend. Stay lazies. Lazies. What the fuck was that? <laughs>